Hey everyone, I, it's been a while, I apologize. I'm hoping this video uploads. I've been having trouble uploading videos. I think I need to clear some space on my phone, so. But I wanted to get on here and do a quick video and let you meet my chickens. Hello, so we're not here, here for about, probably about 30 minutes now and it's getting dark and I have to stand out here with them because I don't want something to grab them. But let me introduce you. These are the four that I just picked up. Um, We've got, this is Pee Wee. This was our runt. And she's getting bigger and bigger by the day. Say hi, Peas. Say hi. There's Peas. Now, as you can tell, like these three look the same. And this little girl over here. I know they don't want to go inside, so I'm trying to. Come on, I know we got to go inside. Come on. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We're running away. I tried handling my chicks every single day for a little bit. I noticed that they um, like when I put my finger here so they can put their little legs on my finger. They feel safer that way. Say hi, say hi. This is another red. Uh-oh, we gotta run away here. Come on. They're practicing. Uh, come on, come on, good girl. They've been practicing with their wings, so. All right, this is Boss Lady, and she definitely is the boss. She's She's got a little attitude, see? <laughs> boss Lady, we gotta go inside. So this one right here, she's an Araconda, um, if I'm pronouncing that right. They lay blue and green eggs. Oh gosh, now they're all getting out, look at this. Come on. Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. I had to catch them and I couldn't catch them with one hand. This is um, an Arcana. I wanna go ahead and put my hand here where she can feel my finger so she doesn't feel scared. Um, they like to have something supporting them under their feet. But as you can tell, they're molting. They're losing all their down feathers and actually getting their feathers in now. Um, I got them on May 16th. So they're almost a complete month. Uh, well, they were probably about a week old when I got them. So. They're about a month and a half now. Say hi. Say hi. So they're still too little to stay outside by themselves. I have to stand out here and monitor them to make sure nothing grabs them. And um, they have their little pen that they sleep in. I actually have a, a dog crate. that uh, It's an old dog crate. It's, it's the largest one you can get, and that's what they sleep in. So I hooked it up in there. Look, say hi. So when this uh, little baby gets older her eggs will be blue and green they're a very unique chicken <laughs> oh my gosh what's going on? hey ladies i'm making a video do you mind the dogs have been out here to watch the chicken so make sure nothing even though i was out here i was running in and out so um, they're practicing because they're, you know, they've got getting pretty much all their feathers in. So we've got, I want to show you the other Araconda, which is this one right here. Her name is Rose and look at her feathers. Aren't they funny? It looks like she's been electrocuted, <laughs> but her feather pattern is really pretty. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, hey, Rose. I try to call them by their names because I heard that uh, chickens will learn their name. So, hi, say hi. They pretty little babies. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cook. Whoop, she flew out of my hand. So make sure all six of them are in here. Keywords. These ones are the Rhode, Rhode Island Reds. See their dark auburn feathers, aren't they beautiful? And then the Arcanas, of course, they have different different patterns. So, But the Rhode Island Reds will lay the big brown eggs. And then the two Arcanas will lay the green and blue eggs, like Easter eggs. They're really, they're really cool looking. So, oh, her tail's getting long. And my tail feather's getting long. But I wanted to come on here and do a short video and give you an update on the chicks. Because I know it's been a few weeks since I have uploaded a video. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I can upload this video for you guys. But uh, before I go, I wanted to go ahead and show you uh, 
their coop and I'm gonna walk around this perimeter and show you uh, the fenced in area that we did. So this is our deck, of course. This is where the dogs like to play up in here and they have their swimming pool and stuff over here in the shade, of course. So this whole area is fenced in and there's a little, little gate that we made, but it works for now. So this is fenced in as well, so they can't get underneath the house. And then we don't weed eat around the edges because it the plants and weeds help keep the fence stabilized uh, to where nothing can get in and they cannot get out, which is good. So um, it's just a little run area. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna put their their house over here. So I'm gonna go take you to show you what their coop is gonna look like. Okay, so we're back in the garage and I have one escaping again. Come on, come on, go back down, go, come on. Here we go. Right now, this is what they're staying in. I have, I know this is kind of goofy, but I made, I made this up for them. And what I did was I poured the wood chips <laughs> on the bottom here. It's just a dog crate that my friend gave me. Uh, they just moved and she had this extra dog crate and it's huge, so it's perfect for them right now. I have their brooder over here, which they hardly use anymore because it's warm outside and it stays pretty warm here in the garage. Plus they have their, their blanket, so it's just an old moving blanket and it keeps everything insulated so and warm inside at night. I went and grabbed um, some sticks from the tree and made some little perch areas in here. Let me open this so it'll be better. And then, as you can tell, this is a divider for the dog kennel where you can divide it in areas when you're trying to potty train your, your puppy. So I took the divider since my dogs don't need it anymore. Um, they don't mess in their kennels. So I took the divider and I clipped it up here so it makes it like an angled up and then I put the sticks here so that's what they perch on and sleep on at night now. Before when they were really little, they slept underneath the brooder. So, but now they sleep here or they'll sleep over here in the corner, but they mainly sit up here on these sticks, which is great because, you know, it, te <laughs> it teaches them, you know, balance and they like being up high. And then of course their water. And then I had to change their food. I had just their food in one of those round things like this and it just, they weren't getting enough. So I went yesterday to our local farm store and got this for like five bucks and they were able, they're able to eat out there because they were knocking their food dish over. As you can see, that's a bunch of food down there and um, I need to clean out their, their cage because it's been a few days and there's food everywhere. So this right here is just a piece of press board that I found. I put it in the back. So just in case like something got in the garage at night, um, you know, like a rat or something, um, it can't get in there. And also I took some boxes and put around in the corners too. The reason why I did this is it's very important if you ever use like an old dog cage to set your chicks up in. The reason why I did that is because it keeps, even though there's food getting out too, um, which does attract like rats and snakes and all that stuff. So, but if I didn't have that in there, the whole garage would be filled with stuff. So, um, so it helps to keep the wood chips and the food inside their, their cage. And it also keeps stuff out and it keeps them from like sticking the little heads out and stuff too. So um, it's really awesome. Okay, let me show you their coop. Make sure they're okay. <laughs> okay, so this is their coop. Excuse the mess around. I've, we've got the weed eater and everything out. We have to literally mow our lawn like three times a week. No, not that much, probably about two times a week because the grass grows so fast here. So this is, this is their rooster. This is going to be their coop right here. It's, we need to set it up, but I got this. She's probably two weeks before I got them. If you guys watch and keep up with my videos, there's a video that I, I had bought a coop online and I got it and it was completely damaged. So I sent that back, got a refund. I went up to our tractor supply and got this one it was actually on sale it was originally like 500 bucks 4.99 or something i got it for like 230 dollars so and it fits 68 and i've got six so 
they're not going to be in this 24 7 they're just going to be in there at night and it has the lock and stuff so which is good so nothing can get in there and then these also like lock up and that's the roosting boxes i believe there's yeah there's four nesting boxes there's a ladder and all that so an asphalt roof so um you know when it rains and stuff like that it's not going to mess up the wood so that we'll be building in probably about three weeks to a month maybe a little bit longer maybe a little bit less depending on how they develop so the rate they're going now it'll probably be sooner than a month but that'll be going out in the pen that i just showed you so i thought i was missing one for a minute <laughs> sometimes they blend together but this is my chicks and they all have names uh, this is Boss Lady. You already met her. This is Rose. That's Peewers, Peewee, is for short. And then we have all of th these ones are kind of hard to decipher between, but this one's all of Ginger and then Ethel. So <laughs> I'm trying to teach them their names. And how I do that is I will, like, say I pick one up and I'm like, hi, Peewee. Hi, Peewee. And I look at them so they'll know their names. Peewee was the one I had to keep Peewee in a sock when Peewee, when I first got Peewee because she was so tiny. Um, and she would get so cold that I'd have to put her in a little sock when she was, um, this was just a few weeks ago, geez. Like, you know, May 16th, then till the end of May until she actually got some feathers on her so but i'll tell you what the other ones do not pick on her even though she is the runt she really is a feisty little thing so i gave them i found an earthworm the other day and put it in their little kennel and um <laughs> the other ones were chasing her but she stood up for herself so but they're pretty, they're pretty cool. They're, I've been holding them every day to make sure they're tame when they get older because I don't want angry chicks. But um, I wanted to give you an update and I hope everybody's doing good. I'm planning on making, if this one will update, I have a couple other videos that I want to upload. So about the puppies. So um, wish me luck. Hope you guys are doing okay and having a great day. See you later.